Hello friends, it's Shari and today I'm making a really cute mini slimline card. So I've said before that the mini slimline size is really fun to break out your old sets. So I am using Sewn With Love today to make my mini slimline. I am going to use these small mini slimline stackables. I'm using the largest of those and that's what I'm going to use to cut out my pattern paper to fit on my card base. This card base is craft card stock. It is cut to three inches by six inches. So you can easily cut a six by six square and score it down the center. I'm going to use watercolor wishes paper as well as some perfectly plaid remix. I really like that really bright plaid and that's going to be sort of my tablecloth kind of for my place where my little sewing machine and items are going to sit. So I have cut that rectangle with that aqua color watercolor wishes. I've also cut a piece of the plaid which I will trim down here in just a little bit. I've got my images stamped out with Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock and I've got my pattern paper beside me so I can use it to kind of dictate the colors that I use for my images so that these match that plaid that's going to be on the card. So I'm starting out with my little pin cushion here, just using a couple pinky colors and then a little bit of green for the top because we love that classic little tomato pin cushion. And then I'm going to use a dark teal color for the tops of the pins. Moving on to my little thimble, I'm not going to go crazy with those colors. I'm just going to use some neutral grays for that with just a little bit of shading. And I'm going to apologize now. My head got in the way a lot. I tried to zoom in so you didn't have to see my hair, but it only works so well. I'm also going to use those same grays for my scissors with a little bit of shading. I started with that lightest, then going in with the dark, and then blending it out and then I'm going to make the handle of those scissors, those classic orange scissors that all of our Fisker scissors are. So that orange is in that plaid paper so that works out perfectly. I've put down a layer of orange but decided I wanted a little bit of shadow so I'm trying to find a bit darker one here and then I'll just add a little bit of shading around the edges and blend that out. These images are pretty small, so they don't need too much shading. Now for the small spool of thread, I'm using the same pinks that I used on the pin cushion. And then I will color the spool with a brown. You could also color it white. And then for the empty spool, I'm just going to color it with that same brown. I'm also going to pull in a darker one and add a little bit of shading to this one since it doesn't have any thread on it. You could also color the center of this with a color if you wanted. I will add some little thread detail to this later. Now I do have the buttons colored but I did not end up using them in my card so I did not show the coloring for those buttons. My sewing machine, I'm going to go with some yellow. So make a bright yellow sewing machine. So I'm starting out with a really light yellow, kind of putting that everywhere and then I'm going to go in with a darker one and add a little bit of shading detail. So I'm just going at the bottom underneath those knobs and then I'm blending it back out with that Y32 which is the lighter of the two colors. I wanted to give it a nice sturdy base. It was a little too light, so I got an even darker yellow for that line of the base of the sewing machine. And then I'm pulling in some blues because there are some really pretty blues in that plaid for some of the details on my sewing machine. So I've got that stripe, that little button, the part where the needle is, and then I'm gonna add gray to some of these other parts. Now for that really big round knob, I wanted it to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to pull out that pink color that I used for the pin cushion and color that in with that pink color. 
And I'm also going to add a little bit of detail to this. So there is a little solid heart stamp in this set and it is really cute and fits perfectly in that round knob. There is an outline heart as well so you could use whichever one you like. And then now that all my images are colored I'll use the coordinating dies to cut them out. Now the other thing I really like about this set are the sentiments so and cute because they're nice and big and they also have coordinating dies. So you can make all kinds of sentiments by combining these with the smaller letters but I just wanted it to say you're so cute so I'm going to use both of those. I've stamped them in some black ink and I'm using those coordinating dies to cut them out. I also if you saw there stamped a one little single pin I'll add that to the card as well. But now I'm going to assemble a little bit here. I'm putting the small spool of thread on top of my sewing machine and I'm doing this right now so I can figure out kind of where I want to trim that plaid for the bottom. So it was just to figure out the placement of my sewing machine. So I've trimmed that off and this is going to be the table where all my little items sit. So I'm just going to adhere that to bottom. I'm just figuring out which way I want it. Do I want that lighter part of that water color at the bottom or at the top? And you can see how that's going to set there on top of the, we'll just call it the tablecloth. And I'll go ahead and put this panel onto my card base. So now I can start to assemble my little scene here with my sewing machine and I'm going to lay them all out, sort of figure out the placement that I want for everything before I start gluing things down. So once I've got those kind of placed, I'm going to start with my sentiment, make sure I have room for that. So I'm just using some liquid glue to put down the word so and cute. And then for my images, I'm going to use a combination of foam squares and also gluing things right to the base. So I've got two thicknesses of foam squares I like to use. I have a thin and a thick. I use the thin for that pin cushion. I use the thick one for that thumb or thimble. And then of course that little spool is gonna tuck behind, but I'll do that here in just a little bit. I've done the same thing for my sewing machine. I popped it up with thin the scissors with some thicker and then I'm adding that little pin there. And then I'm going in with the little swirly stamps in this set which is the thread and I'm going to add some thread details to some of these other items. So I thought it would be cute to have a little thread for that needle. And then this is where I went in just with a black pin and drew some thread on this spool. So it's kind of a spool that doesn't have a lot of thread on it but it just gave it a little more detail and it did not look quite so plain. And I'm just going to use liquid glue to tuck that behind my pin cushion. And then some of these other swirls in this set, I went ahead just like with the sentiment and stamped them in some black ink and cut them out with the coordinating dies. And that will allow me to just tuck that behind that spool and it can easily overlap from one pattern paper to the other. I'm adding that little your sentiment so it completes my sentiment and it just felt a little empty up here at the top so I'm adding another one of those little threads coming off the spool on the sewing machine. Now I said there was a little open heart in this set so I'm using that to just kind of sprinkle some stamped embellishments around using some peacock ink. This looks really good with that watercolor wishes paper. And then finally, for a little bit of sparkle, I have some glitter. I'm adding that to the pins and the pin cushion, some of the details on the sewing machine and the thimble. I'll also add it to those little hearts. And then I also used it to trace over the threads. Just a very thin line. It just kind of makes them stand out, gives them a little bit of sparkle. And here is my cute little mini slimline finish card that I just think is so cute. So I hope today's card has inspired you to look at your old sets, break them out, and make some new cards using some new inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.